hay down here. Okay, so I'm trying to find a new seal for my garden sprayer, poison sprayer. This one, I've had it for whew, 17, 18, 19 years. I don't know really when I got it. Could it be? I probably, I think I got it in the 90s, and this is 2017. Anyway, yeah, here's something you don't see. Look at that. It's not that, I mean, it's not from the 60s or 70s or anything like that, but it says made in the USA. I don't know if the whole thing is or not, but you know how they do nowadays. They assemble it in the USA and stuff, but used to, if it said made in the USA, it was made in the USA. If it was assembled in the USA, it was assembled. Now they're getting trickier about it. But anyway, what it is, is well, I don't want to open it because I've got it full of poison. I put filled it up, put a whole gallon of poison in it and pre already mixed poison. And the seal that goes under that right there was cracked right in half and it wouldn't work. And I tried, you know, seeing if it would pump up without the seal and it would It leaks. And, oh, this is a metal one. Okay. Yeah, uh, I was looking at garden sprayer seals and stuff and they have one kit that has uh, a new sprayer, but they're plastic. I don't, I don't need a sprayer then. If the inside part was bad, I don't remember that being bad. I didn't remember it leaking either. But I think maybe the last time I used it, it didn't leak. It has it better handled than some of them I was looking at. I saw some new ones. It's got a handle that you, you can uh, squeeze easily. The other ones are thumb, thumb pressures, and that'll wear your thumb out in no time. So, uh, some of the others. One that I saw that was $14. The others are $40 a month. But uh, let me see if I can get that a little more straight. And I was making this video really so that I could get the brand and all that. Um, the, the replacement deal, it doesn't tell you what size the seals are. It says uh, one of the big name brands, well known brands, that probably at once upon a time was made in America. Because it has a lifetime warranty. I wonder if I should try to see if they have a website. Two gallons, okay. Lowell, Michigan. Huh. Box needs taping up. I kept the box. I usually do keep the box on stuff. Usually I just try to keep it for a while in case it has to be returned, but sometimes it's a good box is a handy place to keep.